हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू डॉक्टर डेंटिको यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज एम्ब्रेजर्स दिस इज अ टर्म विच इज यूज इन अवर डेंटल एनेटमी सो वॉट इज एम्ब्रेजर वेन यू सी अवर टीच दिस इज अवर टीच In this two adjacent teeth, V-shaped space is present, right? This D-shaped space is called as embrasure, or another name of embrasure is spillways. So let's see the definition of this embrasure. It is a V-shaped spaces that originate at the proximal contact areas between adjacent teeth and are named for the direction toward which they radiate. so according to the direction and from which aspect we are seeing this embrasure according to that we have to give name to this embrasure so this can be your facial lingual incisal or occlusal cervical or gingival so this are the types of embrasure so now let's see this diagram in this this is for your maxillary teeth and this is for your mandibular teeth so you can see contact areas or contact points are present over here in maxillary teeth same for mandibular teeth this are contact areas or contact points in this you can see two types of arrows one is green color and another one is red color so this green color arrow so you can see this is your facial aspect right so this is towards your gingiva that's why it is called as gingival embrasure or this is your cervical surface of tooth so you can say cervical embrasure and this is your incisal surface or we can say occlusal surface that's why it is called as incisal or occlusal embrasures right now see this image this is from occlusal aspect so again we have contact area same for mandibular teeth we have contact areas and this pink arrow and blue arrow so this pink arrow is suggesting us a labial embrasure and this blue for lingual or palatal embrasure so this is towards your labial side or buccal or facial sides that side is called as labial or buccal or facial embrasure and this is towards your lingual or palatal side that's why it is called as lingual or palatal embrasures right now moving to next again this diagram from facial aspect and you can see occlusal embrasures and gingival embrasures so you can see this gingival embrasures are wider than the occlusal embrasure right next is this your occlusal aspect of posterior teeth and you can see this buccal embrasures and lingual embrasures if you bisect this embrasures it means if you draw imaginary central line from this embrasures you can see they are symmetrical in size right that's why it is called as symmetrical halves now moving to next this is incisal view of your anterior teeth and you can see labial and lingual embrasures right again if you bisect this they are symmetrical now moving to next is physiological importance why this embrasures are present in our teeth because it act as a spillway for food material during mastication so whenever we are chewing our food our food try to come out from the oral cavity and it force our teeth so food forcing our teeth to come out from our oral cavity this embrasures give a space to come out for food and then get back to occlusal surface to make our chewing process easy so in this image you can see complete attrition of teeth and due to this there is no presence of any contact areas and there is no presence of embrasures over here right 
now in this cases mastication process is difficult and same if this food want to come out and this is your flat surface right your tooth is flat now so this food will stick over this surface and due to the sticking of food for a longer time patient can suffer with dental plaque and dental caries and second importance of this embrasure is it act as an integral part of self cleaning process of teeth right as i said if there is no presence of embrasure food will stick over that and due to that dental caries and dental plaque can occur now moving to next this are some rules which you have to remember practically you can see this rules from facial or lingual aspect if you are seeing your embrasures incisal or occlusal embrasures are smaller in anterior teeth and larger in posterior teeth if you are seeing cervical or gingival embrasures in anterior teeth these embrasures are larger than posterior teeth but right? we are seeing this from facial aspect incisal or occlusal embrasure are smaller than the posterior teeth right and if you see gingival embrasures they are larger in anterior teeth than the posterior teeth from incisal or occlusal aspect in anterior teeth labial embrasures are equal with lingual embrasures and in posterior teeth lingual embrasures are larger than the buccal and so you can see here this is a occlusal aspect and in anterior teeth labial and lingual embrasures are of same size right you can see here in anterior teeth now if we see posterior teeth lingual embrasures are larger than the buccal embrasures when one side of an embrasure it means tooth outline has a certain contour the other side of embrasure should have same contour to provide a better function of embrasures right so this is all about today's session hope so this video is helpful for you and if you have any doubt let me know in comment section thank you so much for patience listening